so much energy, the crowd was amazing as well, it's been a really good turnout. I'm just so <coughs> thankful that we've got a Wolves Pride on today, I mean it's so important that we've all come together as well and we're able to have this event. And amazing for me to go through my story and my journey and be able to be here as my true self and still be able to perform. There was so much love in that tent. I love coming to Wolverhampton because my favourite thing about Wolverhampton is the people, they're warm, they're fuzzy, they give you so much love, they give you so much support. As soon as I walked onto that stage, oh, the atmosphere was electric. Thank you so much, Wolverhampton. Have the best pride, and pride should be in Wolverhampton every single year. You've seen the people out there, they absolutely love this, they've turned out and this is why this is probably the best city in the Midlands because of the people in there. I was playing things from the 80s, I dropped some Dolly Parton, some 90s, but they were just loving it. You could have, I could have played Old MacDonald Had A Farm and they would have danced and screamed along because they realised this is pride. This is all, all about celebrating the diversity in this city. And also if you're straight, you're gay, you're bisexual, you're transgender, you're black, you're white, you're whatever, Today's just about celebrating Wolverhampton, so I could have played anything in there. And it wasn't about my set, it was about the people that were here today. Really great atmosphere here this year, um, and just really exciting with so many people around. Um, and so it is really nice to be back after having a year off. So we haven't ended up having a parade this year because it's been quite a tight deadline in trying to plan this event. Um, but we will be looking at doing that for next year. Oh, fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Everybody well, seems a friendly, haven't they? Yeah, haven't they? they thought we'd be IP. And we said, we just threw a pension. We just all my friends in one seat. <laughs> It's lovely to have so many people together in one place just enjoying each other's company. It's always a lovely atmosphere, you, you don't always get that everywhere but you always do at the Pride events. I'm nearly 36 now so when I first came out, unless you knew of the gay scene or a, a gay person, you didn't really know much but now it's been highly publicised that there's a lot more to do with equality, there's a lot more for younger people and older people to get involved in. Yeah. Moving forward, it's a, it's a really positive energy. Out of the darkness and into the light. I think in this city, our LGBT alliance and the work that it does with the council and the university is growing. It's becoming stronger, and I think um, as we work together with like Wolverhampton Homes and the different organisations together, we'll build something of an identity. Um, and the city is as a place of safety and respect for um, diversity really. I think we've got a long way to go um, but I'm confident in we're out here making changes. There's a lot of people telling their stories and that's helpful as well. Um, so yeah I'm, I'm hoping that the future is we've got a lot to look forward to. I used to play Sunday morning football uh, and I came out as gay to my football team. Do you know what, I think we're at a stage now, if there was a professional footballer to come out as gay, I'd like to think my team, West Brom, I shouldn't say that in Wolverhampton, I know would really support him. But I think any, any club all over the country now, I think people are advancing. I don't think we're in that place that we're in, in the 70s and the 80s. So I've got a lot of love and I don't think a footballer should come out because they're forced to come out. If they wanted to come out, they, they could. And I'd like to think that as a country, we would embrace them. And you come, to, you come to Wolverhampton Pride today, you see what Wolverhampton Council and Signal 107 have put on. Sometimes, in the current climate, you can kind of forget that when you know that there's not a lot of good people in the world. There's a lot going on, but I think days like today, and when I did that film for the one show, remind you that so many people have got big hearts, and the biggest hearts in the country are here in Wolverhampton.